In this video, we'll learn how to sync the CD looper to external clock sources. We'll be using Pamela's workout to create our clock, as well as to generate a bass drum trigger every quarter note. Our drum sound will be generated via the bell patch on braids, and a pitch sequence for the drum will be generated on the CD looper. First, let's listen to the raw sound of our bass drum. Now we can add the pitch sequence currently stored on the CV looper. However, since the CV looper is not being clocked right now, the pitch sequence won't line up properly with our drum hits. Let's hear what this sounds like. Our pitch sequence plays back, but at the wrong tempo, causing it to line up at irregular intervals. For some patches, this is fine or even desired, but for a simple rhythmic patch like this, we'll want everything tightly synced. Let's sync our sequence to the drum hits by using track 1 of Pamela's workout to create a clock source for the CV looper. The default clock rate for the CV looper is 24 pulses per quarter note, so we'll set track 1 of Pam's to 24 subdivisions. We'll also want to generate a reset signal so that the CV looper has a time reference at the beginning of every measure, preventing it from drifting over time. We'll have PAMS generate a reset signal every four beats by setting channel 2 to divide by 4 mode. The last thing that we'll need to set is the clock source on the CV looper. We can change the clock source by holding down shift and pressing the tempo button. The LED next to the button will show blue when set for external clocking. Now we put it all together. We'll plug our clock signal from PAMS channel 1 into the clock input on the CV looper, and our reset signal from PAMS channel 2 into the reset input of our CV looper. Let's hear how it sounds now.